Hi, I'm NJ, and I'm a developer on the Brackets team. And I'm going to show you how to get started quickly with Brackets. Brackets is a new open source code editor for web development. It's focused on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, but it's also built in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now, Brackets is still very early in development, but I can show you some of the new innovative features that we've got going in the code editor. As you can see, Brackets is packaged as a desktop application, so I can edit files on my local machine just like in a normal code editor. It's already got some of the basic features you would expect in a code editor, like color coding and basic code hinting. But let me show you some of the new ideas we have. One idea we have is called inline editing. So when you're working on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, you're often working with little snippets of code that live in different files, and you're constantly bopping back and forth. What we're doing is taking all that code and putting it into a single editor. So for example, let's say that I wanted to edit the styles that were relevant to this body tag that I have selected. Normally, I'd have to go to my CSS file and find it. But in brackets, I can just hit Command-E or Control-E and pop open an inline editor that shows me the definition of that rule. I can go ahead and make a quick tweak here if I want. And then I can hit Command-E again or hit Escape to dismiss the editor. Here's a more complicated example. This A tag is affected by several CSS rules. If I hit that same Control-E or Command-E shortcut, you can see that now it shows all of the rules that are relevant to that tag. I can click between them to see the definitions. And I can click on the file name up here to actually jump to a particular definition directly. This also works for JavaScript. Let me jump over here to the bracket source code, which, as I mentioned before, is actually implemented in JavaScript and CSS and HTML. If I'm in this JavaScript file and I select a method call and I hit that same shortcut, Command-E or Control-E, you can see that this time it brings open an inline editor that shows the definition of that function. And again, I can jump straight to that definition in the appropriate file. So that's inline editing. Right now, we have it implemented for CSS and JavaScript code. But we have ideas for how to extend this to things like color and gradient editing or other kinds of editing that you might want to do while still focused on your code. Let's look at a second feature. In the upper right-hand corner of the window is the Live File Preview icon. If I click it, it shows a preview of my file in the browser. But this is much more than a static preview. Let's open up an inline editor on body again. And this time, as I change the background color, you can see that it instantly updates that view in the browser so I can get immediate feedback on whether what I'm typing in my CSS matches what I actually want to get. I can do this for this A tag as well. So this A tag refers to these buttons here. And you can see that there's no padding between them. If I edit this margin property, I can try different pixel values and instantly see whether they work or not. If I go here to 4 pixels, that's too big. So I'm just going to back it down to 3 pixels. That looks pretty good. And again, I can just dismiss this by hitting Escape or Command-E. So that's how live development works in brackets. And as you can see, it can really speed the productivity of your web development workflow. But as I said, this is still a very early build of brackets. And right now, it only works for CSS and with Google Chrome. But we're planning to greatly expand that in the near future to handle other file types, like live development of HTML and JavaScript, as well as working with other browsers. And because Brackets is open source, you can actually help us build it. Go to github.com slash adobe slash brackets, check out our source code, give us feedback on what you like and don't like, and maybe even contribute a feature or two. Thanks a lot.